Welcome everyone on this holiest of nights. As Mary readied herself to give birth to Jesus, let us prepare ourselves to welcome new birth into our lives. As a child prepares to open a special gift, let us prepare our hearts to receive the wonders of God's love. As heaven and earth sing of great joy, let us sing our joyful praises to God. Come, let us worship God together. And we say the call it together. God of love, as we gather to celebrate the birth of Jesus, we thank you for the gift of new life and new beginnings. Just as a new birth brings out the tenderness in even the hardest heart, bring out a deeper tenderness and caring in us. Just as a new birth brings a whole family together, Bring us together as your family. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My favorite Christmas tradition is waking up in the morning, spending time with family, and eating Grandpa's bread. My favorite Christmas tradition is having everybody over from our family, opening presents under, from under the Christmas tree, and talking to each other and having a very nice dinner. I've heard about this baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy and I just want to sing this song to you It goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath I'm singing hallelujah hallelujah
A couple came to Bethlehem Expecting child they searched the inn To find a place for you were coming soon And there was no room for them to stay So in a manger filled with hay God's only son was born Oh hallelujah Hallelujah The shepherds left their flocks by night To see this baby wrapped in light A host of angels led them all to ya It was just as the angel said You'll find him in a manger bed Emmanuel and Savior, hallelujah Hallelujah A star shone bright up in the east To Bethlehem the wise men three Came many miles and journeyed long for you And to the place at which you were There frankincense and gold and myrrh They gave to you and cried out Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I know you came to rescue me This baby boy would grow to be A man and one day die for me and you My sins would drive the nails in you That rugged cross was my cross too Still every breath you drew was hallelujah Hallelujah Good evening, everyone. Uh, here we are at the four o'clock Christmas Eve service. And uh, Reverend Edmund asked me to do the children's address. So I kind of looked for some books that I could maybe go through. Um, this particular book here was given to Tyler on his very first Christmas in 1998 from uh, Grandma and Grandpa. So that's kind of cool. I thought I would just put that there. And I thought, rather than just reading you the story, um, I found something on the internet which I thought was really great. And it's done originally by a woman called Erin Clausen. So she's the originator of this. I didn't write it or produce it, but uh, I thought I would share. It's really kind of cool. And what would have been really great is if we were all together, because there's kind of some interactive things that we could have done. But I would invite you, if you are up to it, either kids or adults, from home, you could certainly partake. And the idea would be, is that every time I talk about shepherds, 
you're supposed to say, let's go see. And every time I say the word wise ones, you would say, look a star. And when I say the word angel, you would say, hallelujah. So if you want to do that with me, along with me, that would be great. So the shepherds, they say, let's go see. The wise ones say, look a star. And the angel says, hallelujah. And so this is called the ABCs of Christmas. So A is for angel. The angel Gabriel begins the story by telling Mary, good morning, Mary. Here. You are beautiful, Mary, with God's beauty, beautiful inside and out. God be with you, Mary. You have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. B is for Bethlehem. And this is where our story takes place. People traveled far and wide to get to Bethlehem, which was not a very big village or town at all, not nearly as big as Winnipeg or Canada. C is for census, which means the official counting of all of the people. This was the reason that so many people were going to Bethlehem, and it's the reason that Mary and Joseph were on their way to Bethlehem. D is for donkey. He's right here. A donkey carried the family on their very long journey. Mary and Joseph had to travel 107 miles along the Jordan River to get from Nazareth to Bethlehem. That's a pretty long journey. E is for exhausted. That's how everyone must have felt when they arrived. It would take about 36 hours of walking to just go that far. That's three days in a row of doing nothing but walking. No sleeping. No wonder they were so exhausted. F is for family. Here we have Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Mary and Joseph and their new baby Jesus created a new family, one that was, one that was blessing the whole world. In Luke, they say while they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the hostel. G is for the good news about to be shared with all the earth. And this is what the angels said. I want you to look at these guys right here. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. And suddenly God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. The shepherds were terrified. The angel said to them, do not be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has just been born in Davidstown. A savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth. H is for hope. If you remember during all of our weeks of Advent, we lit the Advent candles. And this is the Advent candle of hope. Hope is knowing that good news is coming, even when things look bleak. Jesus is the source of our hope. I is for imagine. If you could close your eyes and imagine the scene, we can see the beauty and the wonder of the angels proclaiming good news to all men and women. We can see the shepherds first terrified, but then overcome with joy as they hear the good news. And if we try even harder, we can imagine a world where God's peace reigns, where there is no war or hunger. And if we can imagine it, we can do it with God's help. And J is for joy. 
Now we light the Advent candle of joy. Joy is a kind of happiness that comes from God. It cannot be dampened and is always shared. The birth of Jesus gives us joy. K is for king. Though Jesus would be king, he was not the kind of king that people were used to. Most kings were born in palaces surrounded by servants. However, this king was born in a stable, surrounded by dirt, smells, shepherds, animals. Most kings rule with power and fear. Jesus rules with mercy and love. L is for lost. When Jesus grew up, he told us lots of stories, and three of them were things about things lost that were then found. Jesus loved to find lost things, and when you are with Jesus, you will never be lost. He is the good shepherd who would do anything to find his lost sheep. L is also for love. And we light the Advent candle of love. Jesus summarized his whole ministry by saying, Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. M is for manger. We can see him laying here in the manger. A manger is usually held to put food in for animals, but this time it held the baby because he had no crib. N is for Noel. Noel is another word for Christmas. It means new birth, and that's what happened in our story. That's what happens every year at Christmas time. That's what happens every time we decide to follow Jesus. He is born anew in us. O is for offering. You can see over here the wise ones, the wise men, the wise ones, gave gifts to the baby. And we have the opportunity to offer our gifts every day. We give our time, our talents, and our treasure to God, and we pray that as a church we are good stewards of all that is entrusted to us. To, <laughs> entrusted to us. Sorry. So we share our gifts with others and with God. And P is for peace. We light the Advent candle of peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and is the source of the kind of peace that passes all understanding. Q is for quiet. We begin a time of prayer and quiet, allowing God to speak to us. And we're very joyful when the quiet is broken by small voices. R is for revealed. Revealed means showing us something that once was hidden. God revealed to us what love looks like by giving us Jesus. Jesus is love, and he reveals to us the way to love one another. S is for the star. One special star guided the wise men to come and see the baby. They were mysterious, and they lived far away. And it took them many days to follow that star. But they brought gifts to Jesus because they knew that he would grow up to be a king. Matthew tells us, they were instructed by the king, they set off, then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly believe it themselves. They were in the right place, they had arrived at the right time, they entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And if you see, each of the wise men is holding a gift. You can see that there. And those are the gifts that they brought. T is for table. When Jesus grew up, he invited us all to his table. You can see the altar behind me, which is often also called the table. He gave his friends bread and wine and told them to remember him always. And when we gather at the Lord's table, we call it communion, because we come together to be together.
So at this table, we also remember the next letter, which is U. U is for unity. Communion is a time when all people can come together and be one. Just as many grains come together to form one bread, we who are many people come all together to become the body of Christ. V is for vulnerable. Vulnerable means able to be hurt. Every baby is very vulnerable. And so are we when we love one another. God became vulnerable when Jesus was born, and we are called to be vulnerable when we love our brothers and sisters. W is for wonder. Like the wise men, we stand in awe and wonder of our newborn king. X is for Christ. X is the Greek letter chi, or chi, I'm not sure, the first letter in the word Christ. The X is one of the most ancient symbols of Christianity. People have been using the letter X to stand for Christ for centuries. And now we light the Christ candle, symbolizing the coming of light into the world. Jesus is born. Y is for you. You angels, you wise men, you shepherds, you sons and daughters, you mothers and fathers, friends and strangers, you are all here to worship and celebrate the birth of Jesus. And Z is for zeal. Let your zeal for Christ burn brightly. As these lights are passed out, know that the light of God burns much, much brighter. When these lights do die out, the light of God is steadfast, and that light endures forever. My sisters and brothers, in the peace of God, all the gifts we shall give and receive in these days are but small tokens of the gift that shines forth in God's word made flesh this night. From grateful hearts, let us intercede for all who find themselves longing for this deepest, truest gift, saying, Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. <clears throat> that the peace proclaimed by angels in the shepherd's field might be realized in every place of conflict and on every street of violence. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. 
that the child born to us might find in our hearts warm welcome by our openness to the needs of the homeless and the hungry and our willingness to nourish the growth of our souls. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad that in this time of gift giving, we might become more responsive to the abandoned, the despairing and the mourning. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad that the rejoicing of this day might be a bond leading us to true communion of life and worship through the fellowship of the church, that the joy and the consolation of the wonderful counselor might enliven all who, live, who are living with disease or illness, and that the angels may join in a chorus of gratitude, thanksgiving and praise, and that the blessed hope we celebrate this night might be fulfillment of all who have gone before us in faith, especially all our loved ones in whose memories the flowers upon setters are placed in the church this afternoon. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. <clears throat> and we pray together, God of darkness and silence, you have pierced the cute night by the utterance of your word in our flesh, may our words of praise and petition be strong echoes of your Christmas word, so that all might come to the peace you promise in Jesus, who is Lord and God this night and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. What does Christmas mean to you? It means learning about Jesus to me. To me, Christmas means spending time with family. To me, Christmas means celebrating Jesus' birth.
Let us hold the silence as we wait for the moment of rejoicing. Hallelujah! Christ has come. The world is alight with promise. Divine life is in our midst forever and forever. Thanks be to God. Go in peace as those who have met the Christ and carry that love into the community around us in faith. And may the world open its heart to receive the divine and human one. The church open its doors of welcome to those who wait outside and the voices of the people resound with joy. Amen. Amen.